Okay, we're going to show you how to find a vertex of a parabola or quadratic equation by using the technique called averaging the intercepts. And then we're going to show you how this helps me rewrite an equation in standard form into graphing form. If you need to know what standard form is in graphing form, please look back at my video covering forms of quadratic equations. So, um, to do this, um, this this works really well. This um, this technique, if I can factor, okay, the quadratic expression. If I can't factor it, then there's a different technique we'll learn later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my box, okay. We're going to factor this equation. So to factor a standard form parabola, I'm going to put the square term in the top left-hand box and the constant term in the bottom right-hand with its sign. Okay. So what I want to do is what goes in these boxes, so I'm going to highlight them in yellow here. Right? If you recall, these boxes, the sum of those boxes is going to be the middle term. And the other thing is this diagonal, so we'll do this in uh, this color. So if I take this diagonal here and I find its product, it should be the same as this diagonal here. So let's see what they are. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to find two terms, and I do that by creating what's called a diamond or an X over here. Up here, I'm going to put the product of the first term times the last term. And here is going to be what B is. And so I want my two numbers to be the product of these two. So I want the two numbers to multiply to equal whatever this is. And I want the two numbers to add to equal whatever B is. So the product of A and C. So A is 1. C is negative 20. So I want a product of negative 20. But I want a sum of negative 1. So the two numbers that do that would be negative 5 and 4. Here's the kicker. So it wasn't just 1 in this. I want it to be 20x squared because that whole term is x squared. This is x. So these have to be x's. So I'm going to put the negative 5x here and the 4x here. And now I'm going to factor it. So to factor this, I'm going to pull out of this left-hand column the GCF of these two terms, which is x. And so because this is first and foremost a multiplication box, if this area is x squared and one side length is x and it's a square, this has to be x. These are all squares or rectangles. So this is x and this has to be a positive 4. Then if this is x, this, has to, this is negative 5x and this side length is x here, this has to be negative 5. So what I've done is I had just rewritten this equation in standard form and factor form. So here's my factored form equation. And we learned that in factored form, the opposite of these values are the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts for this function are the opposite of negative 5, or 5, and the opposite of 4, this is negative 4. So that's my first thing. I want to factor the equation to find the intercepts. Right? So that's step 1. Now step two is I'm going to average these intercepts because the vertex of any parabola happens to be the x value that is equidistant from these. So that's just the average. So in this case, right, so graphing form looks like this, right? There's no a is 1, so there's no real a here. So the value of h will be the average of these. So h is going to equal 5 plus negative 4 divided by 2. And so 5 plus negative 4, that's 1. 1 over 2 is 1 half. So the value of h is 1 half. That's great. Now to find k, k is the value I get when I plug h into my equation that I started with. So let's plug in 1 half here. So I get k is going to equal 1 half squared minus 1 half minus 20. So, so I'm going to do this. 1 half squared is a fourth. That's one minus a half. That's minus 20. 
So we got one fourth minus one half. So one half is really two fourths. So one fourth minus one two fourths is kind of right it sideways here. Negative one half. So negative one half minus twenty. Well, negative twenty is the same thing as negative forty halves. So that's negative forty one halves. And so k is twenty. So k is one half. So my my vertex. Write this down here. The vertex is hk, so my vertex is going to be 1 half and negative 41 halves. So that's my vertex. Okay, that's step two. And step three is the graphing form. So if I know h and k and the a value is 1, so a in all forms is the same. So if a is 1 in standard form, a is going to be 1 in factor form, a is going to be 1 in graphing form. Now I just need to plug hk, so my equation is y equals no a, so it's going to be x minus h squared minus k. And there we go. The way I would check this is I go on my graphing calculator or Desmos, graph what I started with, and then graph this, and what should happen is those graphs should coincide, which means they should be the same exact graphs.